welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, uh, to your Easy Achiever Gaming Podcast for the year of 2020, the last day of 2020. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting yes, it is. across from me digitally. Of course, that voice belongs to Alex. Hi. How are you, Alex? This is the Dude. last day of 2020. I don't know if you are excited or saddened by that but we are here it has been a crazy year and Mm -hmm. i am excited to just get past this to Mm -hmm. move on to the next year now now for most people that would mean the pandemic that would mean the uh, insane year with a couple things kobe bryant of course oh for sure a couple other people happening things a lot of terrible events for you though Mm -hmm. lots of terrible surrounded by one very special moment with your child which I feel like yes. is very unique. Not many people get to say that they experienced a pandemic and also had a birth of a child in the same year. Yes, it was very stressful, but awesome at the same time. Because, mm-hmm. I mean, she's here. That's good. So, That's I mean, good. You, yeah. ha- you have the literal meaning of... Um... Oh, God, I, I, I lost the... the, the qu- what is it? The, the, the light through the cloud? Oh, I lost it i don't know what you're the, talking about it's a saying it's like the you see the this the the silver lining there we go the silver lining mm. that's what it is okay. you found the silver lining in a plague interesting got it no no i, I messed it up now it's over it's over you did but uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna let you i'm gonna let, i'm gonna let you slide thank you just don't let that happen again right yeah we should probably do a new record you want to you want to try it again let, let's try it. let's try it again we're gonna try no, it again. I, I don't okay. i don't i don't think they know i don't I, think they notice that yeah. keep going no it's, it's fine it's fine it's just a three set okay silver lining did i think i did it that time <laughs> <laughs> all right let's get into it this is your easy achievers gaming podcast for the year of 2020 we come to you every single friday sometimes when we have something to talk to you about could be news, could be a video game we're playing, could be what's been happening in Lost in the last 20 years that has been out. I'm one mm-hmm. of your illustrious hosts for the year of 2020, Elijah. We're going to be bringing in the new year the only way we know how. Looking back into the past and reflecting on mistakes. <laughs> now, Alex, mm. we haven't done this in a while, so I feel like we should, since we've been given a break. We actually took a small break for the holidays to stay in with our families, but we're back Alex, let's bring back the question. Mm. What have you been playing? Man, there's been so much. Alex, you've been I, a busy mm. beaver. Yes, I have. You've been, been gnawing with the wood. That's what beavers do. You've okay. done the tail thing with the beaver. Mm-hmm. Like, you've done a lot of beaver stuff, so tell me about your beaver. All right, one beaver... This one has a pretty cool tail. Mm-hmm. It's called Valhalla. <laughs> okay, all right. I like this. <laughs> I've put 90 hours into this game. Now, me having all the time in the world, apparently, I've also played Cyberpunk. I beat that. And now, what else am I at now? I'm actually wanting to go back to Persona. Hmm. So, I, I, so you played Valhalla. I've mm, also yes. played Valhalla. Expect a spoiler cast soon about this. Very good. I also spent a lot mm-hmm. of time with it. Very good. Not as good as Odyssey, in my opinion. But we'll get into like the specifics with the spoiler cast. Mm. I do recommend it, definitely, if you're looking for... You know, you got new systems over the holiday. If you got a new system, PS5, PS4, Xbox One, Series X, Series okay. S, any of those. I think I, I would definitely recommend it, especially uh, as patches come out, because it was a little buggy on release, but I haven't found any bugs recently in my playthroughs. So I do think it's mm-hmm. much more polished now. And I want to say, uh, go enjoy... I've been enjoying a lot of Destiny. I've been enjoying... I just started Cyberpunk, which, mm-hmm. good or bad, yet to find out. I've only put in, like, what, five hours, maybe? maybe yeah. that's probably saying that's like probably like way over us maybe something like that 30 hours exactly into the game 30 hours exactly and you beat it out how much hours did you put in assassin's creed valhalla 90 okay now if you would have told me three months ago that you that 
you would put in 90 hours in an Assassin's Creed game and not Cyberpunk, I would have thought you were crazy. But I yeah, definitely yeah. would have thought Cyberpunk would have been the 90-hour game. But it just wasn't. Was there a reason? Did you dislike it? Did you get in, it's, get out? Um, with You're talking about with Cyberpunk? Yes, yeah, specifically with Cyberpunk. Because we know you liked Assassin's Creed. And again, we'll go over yeah, that in this podcast. Sure. But I want to know specifically Cyberpunk. What made you kind of get in, get out? You, you did finish the story. But what, mm-hmm. what, what, what was it? Did it not keep you? Did it not allure you in? This is just to give everyone an estimate on um, if they should buy it or not. Well, at first, I was kind of just like wanting to mainline the story because I tried doing some side quests, but there was just so much. Then I'm like, you know, some of these side quests, I, if, I, I don't care for it, to be honest. Right. And I was just like, you know what? I do care for the story, so I'm gonna I'm gonna a- mainline the story, and then maybe come back to it and do some side stuff. Right. Um. So and then later on, I just like, well, I, I want to make sure I can finish this so I can go back to Assassins. <laughs> because mm-hmm. I don't know why, but man, Assassins just kept calling me back. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. So something about Assassins kept you, which makes sense. It's a good game. Yeah. I was just curious if you yeah. knew exactly what it was now, because I did hear the kind of the major complaint of Cyberpunk was that mm. they didn't really feel uh, alert to go do side quests because the main mission is so pressing. I don't know what they're referring mm. to, but I'm guessing something in the main system of the game, some sort of event that is your main quest, does not feel like you should put it off. Um, so people just keep doing the main quest because they feel like that's kind of like the thing that you should go do because it's a big deal. It reminds me of Mass Effect like 2 and 3. Where you have this like giant thing in the game to do, and then you're like, oh, you can do a side quest where you like save a fish on this planet, like like small <laughs> things like that. Where it's like, eh, pro- you know, this probably actually wouldn't happen. You'd be kind of worried about the main mission, but it's a video game. Yeah, yeah. So I did hear about that was kind of the main thing about Cyberpunk. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it, it, it was still good. Like I, not gonna lie, despite all the glitches and stuff that's happening this game i still enjoyed myself yeah you did say something interesting where it's like the the bugs became a part of your experience which was interesting to me where you almost like like, didn't care anymore no i like i didn't mind the bugs at that after a while Mm -hmm. i just knew they were happening and when i had one come up depending on what it was I kind of laughed at them. I was like, "All right, <laughs> that was that was funny." Okay. okay. Yeah. So it was just like at this, yeah, at this point, it just became part of my experience. That like it's not, I like I know it's not intentional, uh-huh. but my mind m- wanted to make it intentional because how often it happened. Right. 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 Okay, I get you. Yeah. I get you. That that was a small boiler point. We'll get more into reviews and spoiler casts later on for Cyberpunk. And also mm-hmm. assassins. Uh, I'm excited to do those with you. But we've come here today to actually speak on what we spoke on a little bit earlier. Looking back, thinking of what happened in 2020 in the year of video games, and just talk about some releases that we might have forgotten about. Um, in anticipation of our top ten, because of course every year me and Alex do a top ten of the year, and we mm-hmm. come make a list, come together, talk about it. And this is kind of like a prelude, I'd say maybe to to the actual official list. Where we just we're going to go over like, you know, this game came out in this game. Let's not forget this and this. And this. So, yeah, let's jump into it. We're going to go over. You know, I feel like this is going to be quicker. So let's go over mm-hmm. some of the news that we looked at and, and then we'll get into the actual video games. How's that sound? Gotcha. That sounds fine with me. OK, now I want to get in because there's a cool this is a straight up just a Wikipedia uh, that mm-hmm. I'm using right now. And it's just 2020 in video games. There's a lot here. There's a lot of major events. And there's also a really cool thing where they go over the actual metacritical like, scaling of games that came out this year. It's pretty cool. We're going to go back to that too. But I want to go over like a couple things that are pretty big uh, that happened in the year. I, I think the first big thing is that uh, Rod Ferguson left in the Gears of War franchise from Coalition. Mm-hmm. And he works at Blizzard now for Diablo. I feel like that was like kind of like the big thing where it's like, whoa, we lost a rod. Like he was huge, huge guy, mm-hmm. huge guys. And and just as a, a point, we won't skip COVID stuff, 
but that won't be the majority of this because I think we just talked about COVID the whole time. So we're, we're I'm not gonna skip like the big things, but we're out cursor glance like this thing happened because of COVID probably. Uh, if I if yeah. if I said every COVID thing, uh, we, yeah, we'd be here all day and we just talk. I mean, about to COVID. be fair, COVID is still happening. So True. at this point, it's it's it, it started and it's not like it's ended. It's just yeah. a thing now. So like at this point, I'm I don't know. Mm-hmm. It's it's just it's just there. Of course, of course. Now, in March 11th, uh, Dan Hauser announced that he left Rockstar Games, and because uh, he was the co-founder and lead writer. This is a guy who shepherded a lot of what makes Rockstar Rockstar and what made Grand Theft Auto what the main allure of Grand Theft Auto is: the writing, the storytelling, the setting, all of these things. And he's le- he had mm-hmm. left the company, so I think we're definitely going to be looking at a much different quote unquote Red Dead Three, Grand Theft Auto Six, whatever. Whenever that it's going to be quite different because I mean this is this is a man who is known for his seriousness with making these video games. So yeah. that is probably the biggest individual leaving something probably that I can think of. Um, and then we get in June 11th. This is a big skip because uh, not too much happened with between March, April, May. June 11th, we get the first Future of Gaming event for the PS5. Mm. Now, if you remember, Alex, I don't believe we actually got to look at it. This was just the like when they uh, did the uh, Gamescom thing. You remember that? Where he just talks about the system mm-hmm. and like goes over to design and talks about some games. So we didn't actually yeah. see it here, I don't believe. We don't see it until, um, I want to say it was September, right? Something like that. So we haven't seen it yet. This is just talking about the system, going over those really granular details about Gamescom and things like that. And then not 11 days later, we get Microsoft announcing Mixer is shut down uh, and is going to partner with Facebook Gaming to move over its systems. Crazy day, that one. Yeah, I remember, that, I remember that. I remember that clearly, where it's just... I wake up, look at Twitter, Mixer's gone. It's like, whoa. Because mm-hmm. it was more surprising to me because they just dropped pretty much a lot of money on, uh, if you remember, uh, Ninja, of course, uh, G- Goliathan, uh, I believe is how you pronounce it, and Shroud. They paid mm-hmm. millions to get them on their platform. Well, now aren't they back at Twitch? I believe all three of them are. Um, mm-hmm. which of course is the best for them because they made a lot of money and didn't have to do anything and went back to making more money on Twitch. So good for them mm-hmm. for making yeah. a lot of money. Just wanted to throw it out there. I dabbled with Mixer, never really got into Mixer. I was more of a Twitch guy. I, I would go, if I'm watching something, I'm watching it on Twitch. Mm-hmm. Uh, Alex, I remember you weren't really, you're not really watching streams I would say as much as I am. I, I don't watch them too much, but no. I definitely watch them more than you do. So I don't think this really affected you much aside from how newsworthy it was. What do you think? Um, no, I, I mean, I, I was in, I was enjoying Mixer for a time and I actually, um, I broadcast it once thing just to see what it would feel like. And I thought yeah. it was cool. Mm-hmm. Um, but I used it a couple times. I used it during the Fortnite. uh, World Cup, I think that's what it's called. I don't remember what what it was called. Um, the championship stuff. Like, yeah, I enjoyed using it, but once it was gone, I'm like, well, what am I going to use now? I mean, I have Twitch, yes, but it, I just feel like it wasn't as f- like f- fast to get mm-hmm. to. Mm-hmm. Like, like if if I noticed before, like now there is no like not it doesn't pertain to me, but for the people who did enjoy doing it, there is no way of broadcasting what you're playing on the Xbox. Correct. Uh, like like how there used to be like with mixture yeah. it says start a broadcast and you could just broadcast unless yeah. I, unless you have like a computer or something well of course now you just hook it up to a computer but that's a lot harder than just doing it straight up from a, a, a system yeah for sure now alex the closest thing we got to news after that of course not as mm-hmm. big of a deal but i think it's still a big deal ready at dawn acquired by oculus now if you remember you might you, i know the the name sounds familiar but let me give you a couple of their games God of War Chain of Olympus for PSP, mm-hmm. Okami, which was a Wii port, God of War Ghost of Sparta, and the Origin Collections, one for PSP, of course, and one for the PS3. Then they made the mm-hmm. Order 1886 for PS4. 
The Order 1886. Shout out to Order 86. And then Lone Echo, Echo Arena, Echo Combat, Lone Echo 2. Those are all the recent games for Oculus. But they were acquired this year. So they Mm -hmm. made some games for Oculus and then immediately got snatched up by them. Which I think is a good studio. I think they had a lot of potential. But we're only given one shot with uh, Order. And then obviously they didn't keep them because they left. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, and then a small one, Deck 13 Interactive was acquired by Focus Home Interactive. Uh, very small. I believe this is a, a pretty small studio. They haven't made too much. Yeah, they're really popular for The Surge 1 and 2, but not too much else for, for myself. Um, did you ever play those? I did not. I, I've heard they're pretty good, um, but I've never touched one. Mm, gotcha. Now, August 13th, everything changed when epic games released the fortnite bypass payment system that got them delisted Mm -hmm. from apple and google uh if you remember (laughs) this was something that they put out that were able to get their v bucks cheaper because it sub it uh subverted the 30 percent cut that apple and google take Uh, i believe it's 30 percent that it take from every uh purchase on their store well they circumvent this apple immediately takes them off the store google does the same thing uh, all the, albeit you could still play it on Google because there's a secondary uh, store on Google that you could buy stuff from. Not uh, unlike unlike Apple, where it is either the App Store or nothing else, and it's still ongoing. That'll be that lawsuit will last literal years until whatever happens for, happens. for a while. <laughs> yeah, for whatever happens happens. Um, and then of mm-hmm. course at the end of August we get the online version of Gamescom 2020. Nothing crazy there. Um, We'll talk about that with the games. September 21st, Alex. I want to say probably one of the biggest things that happened in gaming news in a very long time. Xbox Game Studios announces that they purchased ZeniMax. And they acquired, of course, Bethesda Games, Arcane Studios, ID Software, Machine Games, and Tango Gameworks for a U.S. dollar amount of $7.5 billion to be completed by the first half of 2021. That was crazy. Again, I want to say probably the biggest gaming news that I've been a part of actively being able to cover and mm-hmm. talk about. And yeah. wow. We still haven't seen like the actual quote unquote ramifications of this deal. Will mm-hmm. they be exclusive? Will they not be exclusive? We will not get these questions answered until the games come out. So la di da. We'll know later, but that is a huge thing. I think that will is one of the biggest changes ever. I don't think they're going to be exclusive, but it is quite the change that it could be. Quite the chance that it could be. We did recently get Skyrim, too, to uh, Game Pass. Shout out to yes, that. Yes, we did. Yeah, the, the special edition. Yep, yep. The, all the uh, accoutrements is on there. And we're slowly getting all of Bethesda's catalogs. We got Wolfenstein the other day uh, as well. So uh, Game Pass mm-hmm. becoming even crazier of a deal. Even crazier of a deal. And then near the end of September, we get on the 24th, Amazon announces the cloud gaming service Luna. They're offered a channel style subscription service with companies having their own channel. Ubisoft, as an example, has their own channel. It launched in October. You could purchase the channel and get the subscription service of all their games. So, for instance, if you buy, I believe it was $15, I want to say, for the Ubisoft channel, you get uh assassins you get you know all these games that you could just stream directly through amazon's cloud gaming service very cool not have tried it yet and i haven't heard anyone try it yet honestly so i have no idea if it's good or not but very cool that there is competition competition drives content and drives everyone to be better so it excites me now we get a couple years nothing too crazy here um we do announce the Take-Two Interactive bought Codemasters. Um, they did a buyout in stock and cash deal for almost $1 billion. That is going to also be completed early next year. If you don't know who Codemasters is, they're very popular for the Dirt series. For the Dirt series. They have made all of the Dirt games, I believe. Um, just glancing at their portfolio. Yeah, I would say... Um, uh develop yeah that that's probably their their biggest accoutrements dirt grid and dirt 2 yeah that i don't see anything else that'd be much crazier but yeah they were acquired by dirt cool 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 that's a lot of money a billion dollars good good for take two i guess uh 
Mm-hmm. Um, and then we get the, of course, not not far away from today, but December 3rd, Bioware, uh, Mass Effect director Casey Hudson, and Dragon Age executive producer Mark Dara both announced they are leaving the studio. So not only in the span of, a, like, I think two years, come back to make these games, they then leave before the games are launched, which is upsetting. Very curious on if it was uh, they're being fired or if they voluntarily left. I'm very curious on what happened, and I'm curious if it actually affects the games, which of course it does. But we'll see how much when the games come out. It saddens me that they're leaving, Alex. Um, yeah. I love Casey Hudson. He is brilliant, brilliant man. I wish he stayed for the whole to see the whole thing through, but I get it. He's got other stuff to do. Makes me sad. Excuse the baby in the background if you hear it. No, it's fine. I don't think they hear anything. All right, and then I actually didn't know this, Alex. Hmm. EA outbids Take Two in acquiring Codemasters in a deal valued at one point two billion. So Jesus. EA actually outbids Take Two for Codemasters. They actually snatched them up. This is December fourteenth. This went live. In mm-hmm. incredible. So EA actually snatches them uh, for one point two billion. My God. That's a lot of money being thrown around. Good. Those Codemasters, I don't believe, yeah. is a huge studio either. So, I mean, they just, they're making out like bandits. Good for them. Yeah, they're over here putting all this money like it's nothing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, throwing it out. I mean, EA's got the cash, so I, I, I think they were valued at like $6 billion or something. I don't remember, but like they have a lot of money, so mm-hmm. good for them. That is the 2020 gaming news. Pretty crazy year all in all. We, of course, in that time frame, had new systems, and then we had the DICE Awards, and then the Game Awards, and all that things. Um, sorry, we had the Game Awards. The DICE Awards is not until next year. Um, but we had the Game Awards at the end of the year, and then I wanted to go over the Metacritic scores before we end here, but I want to go over the... Uh, so let's do that real quick. First off, Persona 5 Royale is 95. Last of Us Part 2, 93. Hades, 93. Half-Life Alex 93. Dragon Quest 93, Ori Will of the Wisps 93, Demon Souls 92, Microsoft Flight Simulator 91, Cru- uh, Crusaders Kings 3, which is crazy. I-, I don't even know what that game is. 91, F1 2- 2020 91, Spelunky 2 91, Animal Crossing New Horizons, Ori Will of the Wisps, and Yakuza 0 all sitting at 90. So, mm. if you got a new system, those are all highly criticalized games that are very popular i i'm happy to see persona 5 royal so high at a 95 that's pretty incredible if you don't know what metacritic is that essentially is a giant aggregate for video game reviews so they take ign GameSpot, polygon all these things and they put it into one platform and they essentially gather an average it's weighted of course but they get the average of all the scores very cool yep Okay, now moving on, we're going to go over to like just some video game releases, Alex. And this is going to be a lot slower. A lot slower. We're, we're going to just take be talking. Yeah, it. yeah. We're going to take our time. We're gonna, I'm going to bring up a game. We're going to talk about it, see if we can remember playing it. That would be the fun part. Where like, we're, do we remember this game. Did you play it? I kind of. I wanted Look, to. Yeah. You were trying to you were trying to ask me something about assassins and I'm like, dude, that was like 30 hours ago. Yeah, yep. I don't remember. Yeah, I rem- I forget what it was, but I did ask you a question and I was like, what happens? And you're like, I... <laughs> I was like, yeah, that makes sense. I couldn't remember either, so I don't blame you. Yeah. <sighs> I t- had to take a sip of Mountain Dew there. All right. Mm. January starting it off. First release that me and Alex played, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Alex, God, I forgot that was this year. That was this year, Alex. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Oh my God, that felt so long ago. What do you think of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot? That was in wow. January 17th, 2020. Wow. What do you think, Jesus. man? That is, that is one of the most average games I've played ever. <laughs> it, it was, it, I mean, it was fun. Yeah, I, I think it was incredibly average. It had a lot of problems, in my opinion, but when it was good it was good when it was like dragon yeah. ball z it was fun when it was like this weird rpg thing yeah i didn't like it but mm-hmm. i liked it when it was full-on dragon ball z alex you you seem to be a little higher on it than i am um i mean i i enjoyed it like i did the main story but and i just i never went back to do extra stuff so i enjoyed what i played okay okay 
um like, Jan- I didn't really have anything that I dis disliked. I mean, I did. I mean, other than that, the combat was super fun. Oh wow! Okay, yeah, you're definitely higher than me. Um, and then after that, we get Kingdom Hearts three Remind. Yep. What did you think of that whole thing? I loved it because I mean, more Kingdom Hearts, of course. No, for sure. Yeah, I mean, I, I honestly, I feel like it's biased, but it's just, it, it was fun. Yeah, I, uh, I mean, like, I'm gonna love Remind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I loved it. My favorite part was the Mickey segment. I will not spoil that, but that was insane. <laughs> it, go, go mm-hmm. play it if you care about Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> not too much to bring up there. February, um, nothing crazy. Life is Strange two complete season was released, but of course that was released prior, so it doesn't really count as you know. It depends on how you want to count that. Um, I never even went back to finish it. Um, you should question mark like if you liked it, you should definitely keep playing it. But mm-hmm. like, I wouldn't like rake you over coals for it. I get it. It, it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't as good as one. So. If it was as yeah. good as one, I'd be screaming at you. But, like, it's not. So, it's, you know. Dark Side of Genesis, me and Alex played one oh level. Oh, my God. Me and Alex played one level of this. February 14th, they came in. Yes, February 14th. Me and Alex played one level and then never again. <laughs> well, and it was crazy because we enjoyed it, but we just never went back to it. Yeah, I mean, it was fun. I, I have no problem with the game. It's just, you know, mm. things happen. Games come out. We were busy. I was still getting mm. through last year's titles. Um that's true that's true so i mean i was backlog. i was still kind of busy yeah yeah From still going through before. the backlog and, you know I'm, and i'm not always playing games i was probably watching some shows and things like that too no uh, yeah yep um in march call of duty warzone was released march 10th apparently uh wow i mean warzone what yeah me and alex play warzone a lot i think this is is this a new season let me see what they mean by this Hmm. Because Warzone no. didn't Warzone came out come out with the Call of Duty game, or is it separate? Oh no, I think this is just when a review went live. Interesting. Yeah, because I don't remember that had to be. I think this is just when the March? review went live. That is a mistake from me, I believe. Well, I mean, I don't know. Is I mean, when did when did Call I, I of feel like... Duty Warzone come out. Let's see. Yeah, I think I it came out with the game. Yeah. I think it came out with the game, but it didn't have. I think that was like when there was. No, it says it came out this year. Yeah. Whoa. The, we, so we got the game, and then they announced. It, re, Call of it is a free to play released on March tenth, twenty twenty, for PS. Oh, the this game was probably when it was released by itself for free. Uh that makes way more sense. Yeah, when it released by itself for free. Yep, that makes way more sense. I was like, that doesn't make any sense because I played it with the yeah, game. Yeah, that's how I was confused. There yeah, we go. Exactly. Makes way more sense. Thank you, Alex. You saved me there. You saved me from the commenters. Thank you. The closest thing we have to a relevant release that I'm looking at, Neo 2, which yeah. I didn't play, but Alex did. I No, no. I played... <laughs> 30 minutes of it that's not even try i literally did my character try to beat like a some like boss or something and i got my hand handed to me and i was like i'm good (laughs) now my favorite release of march and probably definitely on my top 10 of the year alex did not alex did not like it doom eternal oh okay i think we're going somewhere else because you completely skipped something that was before uh, or the same day, I guess. Uh, what did I? Say? It was the same exact day. So Animal Crossing. What? Oh, oh, thank you. I I did skip that. I, so, it was so the same I day. Got, so. so no, I so I got two games on the same day that are definitely going to be on my top ten: Doom Eternal yeah. and Animal Crossing. Two games that couldn't be I couldn't be more different from each other. Coming out yeah, on the same sure. day. Great day, by the way. I played Doom Eternal so much, Dude. and there was a week. That went by that I did not play Animal Crossing. And you guys were loving it. You guys were like, oh my god, I'm so, you know, Rebecca loved it. Yeah. And I was like, sure, I'll, I'll play. I, I gave it one week and I started playing it. And I fell in love. Such a yeah, great Yeah, dude, game. I was in on this game forever. And then Carly and, and I, we, uh, we played it forever. We shared an island. And then I fell off of it. And she is still playing it. Like, she even restarted her island and everything from scratch. Mm-hmm. Respect for that, too. Respect. Yeah, Do you get it, like, the way you want it? I get it. 
Yeah. Uh, but yeah, loved Animal Crossing, and I loved I love Doom Eternal. I know Alex doesn't have much up for it, but I played I, me, I think half of it, and I just couldn't get I just couldn't get past it. I, no, I get it. You were doomed out. You said because you played the yeah, first. Yeah, I had just played the first one. Yeah. So yeah. I played Eternal, loved it. I couldn't recommend it more if you have any cursory knowledge of Doom and think you'd like it, or if you just want a first person shooter that you don't even don't even need to pay attention to that you just want this mindless gore fest of fun and it gets very challenging near the end it's so much it's it's an incredible game i loved it mm-hmm. love my time with it go give it a try then we get uh <laughs> i'll bring it up really quickly call of duty modern warfare 2's campaign remastered march 31st this was only on ps4 though at the time for a month yeah yeah for a month so that came out i remember being like ah i'll do it on ps4 why not and i played through it got the platinum oh mm-hmm. no no i did i get the no no no. wait did we play that on xbox or ps4 i played it on xbox i waited no we did wait sorry so we, we waited till xbox played it on xbox and you and thousand it thousand. and i didn't quite thousand it i think i have three left or something like that uh-huh. something roughly but you you thousand it correct yes i did that's a hard thousand, so I respect you. Mm-hmm. That's a hard thousand. Oh uh, man, one in Ugh. specific that is it, that makes it an issue, dude. Oh my god, that training ground. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. You were there for a while. I, I was, was on mic with you. You were there for maybe be two, three hours. I was trying to beat, and it says the the developer, and I think the yeah. time was twenty nine seconds. You had to beat. Something I like my record was twenty six. Yeah, yeah, you beat you beat dev time. And I which was is like, good. thank God. <laughs> You're like, I stop, I'm stopping. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, so then we're leading off with uh, Persona Five Royal, same day, March thirty mm-hmm. first. A game that I told myself oh that my God. I wouldn't play at first. I don't know if you remember this, Alex, but I was like, I it's only slightly different. For a little bit of time, I was like, I, I, I don't. The time, that's what we thought <laughs> at the time. I I wasn't gonna get it. And the day before, I believe, or the mm-hmm. day of, I don't remember. I said, I, I have to buy. It. I, I, I don't know what happened, but I was like, I need to buy it. Uh, if you don't know, I played Persona Five already, so I had already the knowledge of the game. And Persona Five Royal, you know, added some stuff, but I, I didn't think it was enough to like keep me there. But at the last, on literally the eleventh hour, I went sure, and I bought it. Whoo! So glad I did. I beat it again. I've spent roughly 200 hours in the game of Persona 5, beating the first and fifth one, and platinuming Persona 5 Royal. Mm. Almost, I, oh, Alex, I'm so upset. I almost got every confidant level to level 10. I was missing one person by one star. Would have had everyone in the full through. I would have platinumed it. And got every confidant at the same run, and I missed it by one. Do you point. have to do that for royal? Because I no, heard you don't. something about that. You don't have to do no, something. No, no. Okay, no, you, you don't. don't. You know, that was just for a personal achievement I wanted. That that oh, is just something okay, I wanted, okay. and I missed him by one mm. point. Killed me, but it's okay. Got the platinum anyways. Had a great time with it. I eventually will play that game again because it does hold a special place in my heart, and I love the gameplay routine of the thing and of course it's really fun when in, in the royal version if you pay a lot of money basically you get a very strong person that you can just wreck the game with it's really fun he's like level 100 already and you could just break the game it's real fun well it's funny because the first time you tried to get me to play this game i did yeah i could not get into this game you didn't you played like literally an hour and went no <laughs> yeah and then you gave me royal and I've put maybe 20 hours into this game already, and I'm actually going to go back today. I hope so. I, hope I you... downloaded I actually deleted it, or not deleted, I'm sorry. I moved it from my hard drive to the internal so I can have it on PS5 specs or like make it run a little better. Yeah. So I'm going to be playing that tonight. Respect. I hope you enjoy it. I, I, yeah, I finished Cyberpunk. I finished Assassin's. I thought about going to a Tony Hawk because I bought that, but I'm like, I'm feeling a persona, man. Mm-hmm, 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 I want mm-hmm. those romances. I want. I want. I, I want. Uh, I want. I want those friendships. Did you find your best girl yet? Mm. That's the ritual see, of Persona see, Five. You find best two... your best girl. So who is it? And we'll see. I'm stuck between two people, mm. but I, I haven't even gotten everybody yet. So oh. I don't know if it'll be the next girl or not. Okay. So I don't. 
Yeah, I'm stuck between two girls right now, and I don't even know if like apparently there's like three care more characters or four characters I still need to find probably or continue because I'm only like hour twenty and there's like a eighty to one hundred twenty hours into this game. Oh yeah, I mean it depends on because I knew the game very well. I was able to do it around mm-hmm. hundred. There's about a one hundred and twenty hours of now, content in the game. Um, now, see, I have a question. For I you. just knew how to do. Is it so I any of the trophies missable? so here, here's the issue because i want to go just play the game and then i can go back and do, do everything because i because so, since you planned them i wouldn't mind correct it's not a hard platinum period i want i want to say that to everyone listening i'm gonna take a second and really describe the platinum for you it is not a hard platinum period it is very obtainable is it missable kind of yes sort of yes and no in the theory that if you have one save slot Mm -hmm. and you immediately save that slot over and over again yes you will miss a trophy most likely unless you know the trophies ahead of time and you do what i did Mm. and i just googled because i was worried i might miss one you most likely won't miss any i would say if you are interested missed one no no you no i promise you have it you're in hour 20 you would have missed one if you had no other saves and you were at hour 80 that you're okay you're, i only have one save you, so now now that you know that okay every now and then i'm not even saying like every minute every now and then make another save every now and then okay. make another save all a hey, once you've done that you're fine okay you're now fine. is there a limit to saves because remember what was it skyrim or witcher there was like 99 slots or something or no i'm sorry persona 4 golden there was 99 slots I'm, I mean, you don't need 99. I would say if you have a save for roughly every 10 hours, you'll be fine. You don't even need that many, but if you want a good indicator in your head on how many mm-hmm. you should have, that's a good way of thinking about it. Essentially, okay, cool. the only thing you're really worried about missing is a couple answers to a couple questions near the end of the game that you should probably ask me about right before you're close to being in the game, if you get that far. Okay. And then there's a couple optional things that you can do. There's a maid cafe that you can do in the game. Mm-hmm. And just as an example of the trophy, you have to eat everything there. So that requires you to go there multiple days. And once you have eaten everything there, you then get a special dish that you can eat on top of that. So that's an example mm-hmm. of a trophy where like, okay, if you've run out of time, then yes, you can miss that. But if you have multiple saves, you go back to that time frame, you do that thing, and you're fine. Now, my next question. Apparently, this has become a Persona thing. This um, is now Persona 5 Roya. Can, can, you, can you play post-game, or does it revert you to a save? When you have beaten the game, yes, the game is over. Okay, so, okay. It is very it. clear. You are done with the game. They are clear with that. You are, you are not playing this game anymore. This it. is ve- it's very touching how it ends. So, like, they can't... Um, there's no way to, like open world the game i guess if that makes well, sense. okay because you know how some you know yeah like yeah there's said, some games that will revert you to the last time yeah no this this doesn't well, do that well no no not that i'm saying like like I, i'm scared of taking my time with certain things to where i'm like okay it's you know it's tuesday but then i have to do this thing on a thursday but i only have two days to do a bunch of stuff while mm-hmm. i have the time to do all this stuff you'll be fine you'll be fine don't even okay. don't even worry about the plan most things you'll do organically There'll be a couple things that you're like, oh, I had, I didn't even know I could do that. As long as you okay. have a save ready in that time frame, you're fine. You know, you don't even worry about it. Okay. Don't even worry about it. Yeah. You're fine. Just keep keep a couple saves handy. You'll be fine. You'll be Got fine. It. And that goes for everyone listening. Just keep a few saves if you're worried about Persona Five Royal. You really want the platinum. Keep roughly ten saves, uh, ten hours apart. You're fine. Now, cool. Let's get into, uh, we're, st- we're we're yeah, we're going to April, of course um let's go to final fantasy 7 remake april 10th final fantasy 7 remake oh what can i say that hasn't been said about final fantasy 7 remake now that's the first time you and i have ever played this game correct you should not play it that way but yes you're correct <laughs> yeah I, to, 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 thank you for pres- prescribing that i might not have said that I enjoy my time with it. I do wish it was not called Final Fantasy VII Remake because that is not technically true. 
Yeah. It is not Final Fantasy VII remade. You're not. You're not. It's not even close. So I do wish they were a little more clear with what the game was because that's not what it is. Especially Part when you, one. especially when you beat the game, Alex. It is a hundred percent not the remake. So I do wish oh, it was more clear sure. because I would have played Final Fantasy VII before this game. I intentionally waited to play this game, and that was not a good idea. If you got a new system, or if you didn't pick this up the first time around, and you're thinking mm. about playing it, you have not played the original game. You will get less out of this game if you have not played the original. I promise. But if you don't care, you're probably fine with it. It's still a good game without that. The combat's really nice. The characters are very touching. I liked everyone involved. The Buster Sword is still the coolest thing in video games probably ever. And I enjoy the character of Cloud mm. and his and his buddy companions and how they're terrorists. It's really cool. Alex, your thoughts? Now you said it. Now you said is one of the coolest things or the coolest things? Ah, uh, I wouldn't say the, but one of. Okay, okay, because I was about to fight you right what? there. I was what's, like, no, it's not. What's it? Le- Leviathan axe is up there. Buster sword. Well, I was gonna say I I rather have the blade, the chain blades, or the Leviathan axe before Buster sword. Mm. I mean, I probably would want the Leviathan axe too, but the Buster sword's sick. I mean, it's pretty it sick. It is sick. The Sethiroth sword, I would say, might be cooler than the Buster sword. I'm not too sure, though. Now, see, I would have Oblivion and Oathkeeper before the Buster sword. <sighs> I mean, that's two, but I respect it. Fine, if I had to if I had to pick Oathkeeper, fine. Okay, okay. I, I, I would probably agree with that, too. Yeah, I probably would. Like, it's up there. It's good. It's fun. It's good. It's cool to use, but it's not. Like, yeah. to me, it's, it's in the top ten. Mm-hmm. I get it. No, I get it. I get it. I get it. But but your thoughts on the game, Alex? Oh no, the the game was. I mean, I enjoyed it. I yeah. uh, played it all the way through. The story was was intense because like, every return, I'm like, whoa, what's happening? Mm-hmm. And then the ending, for sure, you're like, whoa. Yeah. The only the... thing is very disappointing is that it's not the full game. Yeah, and I know that a lot of um actually people want to say oh Matt, you know, but. I, I agree with Alex in this. Like this is this is just it's just mis- misleading, you know. Like I don't want to be that yeah. guy about it, but it's kind of just misleading. It says Final Fantasy VII like, remake. They, it is not that. It is yeah, like it's not, it's, they could have just put part one, and I would have been fine. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Me too. Like I, I would have uh, still paid sixty bucks, but I know what I'm getting. Yeah. People that don't know what this is, they'd be like, "Oh, remake, cool." But then they see that there's still a second game. You're like, mm, "No, that's weird." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I agree with Alex. It's just strange what's happening here, and we still don't really know how this is gonna be continued. Yeah. Like, is it another sixty dollar release? They still haven't told us that. Oh yes, for sure. Uh, so like, okay, we won't, get part, we won't get part two or even see it till maybe next year, or the year after. Oh yeah, I don't think we're seeing this till two years from now, minimum. Period. yeah yeah Minimum. And, and i mean it's, and it's gonna be the same it's square uh, enix we're talking about we're not seeing this for a while <laughs> no yeah for sure yeah, we're working on final fantasy 16 yeah that too yeah i'm excited for that mm. predator hunting grounds man that was fun april 24th what a good time that was i will that say it is such a good time it's definitely one of those games where we enjoy it for about a month's period and then mm-hmm. we don't go back but it's I, that doesn't so I, in my opinion degrade it yeah it was, it was it was awesome yeah i agree with that sentiment right there like that the, it, that, that doesn't take away from the game that just i just liked for the time yeah, i played and was, i left it was really good yeah i mean it's like it's like cyberpunk like right now like i or, or excuse me assassins or either one like i played it for this month and i loved it and i'll probably never go back but for the time i mm-hmm. enjoyed it it's like a good lover you know <laughs> you have that time you shared it and then you never see him again Whoa, isn't shit. that how it works <laughs> streets of rage 4 april 30th alex didn't play this i don't believe but i no. enjoy i've played just about all of it minus the last boss me and my father actually played a little bit of it it's real fun really fun we got mm-hmm. to the very last boss i had to go but um we'll have to uh finish it the next time i'm over it was really good really good streets of rage mm-hmm. it's streets of rage if you ever play streets of rage 4 Okay. In the month of May, we have not too much for me and Alex that we played here. Let's see. Um, Mafia 2 and 3 Definitive Edition. 
Um, yeah. Oh heck yeah, I played that. Uh, yeah, I did. I didn't. I played. Okay, I played. I played two. I didn't go to three. I tried go. to go to three, and three is just broken. It is. It's super broke. There's a lot of broken stuff in Mafia. Period. One and one, two, and three. They're all pretty broken. But to get to a game, we Look, actually. I'll play one and two over again before I play three. The way it is. I disagree. Uh, go, going to really, May- it's that yes. bad. For me. Oh God, no! I'm not playing one and two again. <laughs> one is barely like good in my opinion see mine barely good play mine ran just fine mine was fine Agreed. i'm not even talking about running let's just assume that it ran fine which it didn't for me let's just assume it did mm-hmm. it's still not good like the story is super boring until like the ha- until like the twist if you want to call it that that was kind of cool but that was it like who cares and see i prefer to take that linear than the repetitive thing in three the like, story is good in three but to get to get to those points is way too repetitive i've never even beaten the game i love three one can go eat a pile of rocks two i enjoy fine three very good i just wish it wasn't broken because it was super broken last time i went back to it i was like oh i should like try this out again i load it up it looks like awful garbage it it looks terrible i I had to turn it off my eyes were hurting i started bleeding man eater may 22nd (laughs) man what a good time man who made this i always forget we were talking about this for the longest time uh, oh, we talked God, about this for like two years because it was at an e3 um, you had brought it up to me originally i had no idea what this was and you told I me i saw an... it on one of the um i saw it on one of those uh like side e3 things that they show yeah. off mm-hmm. so this is by tripwire interactive yep oh it was so much fun you get you're this a, the literal sense of an rpg shark game you're just a shark that tear you tear up people and it's so fun literally this game will be for ps5 next month for, uh, on, on, on playstation plus. plus yep go play it 100 percent. my god such a good game honestly this is probably in like a sneak peek it's in my top 10 for game of the year oh all right okay I'm not telling me where but it's in there yeah okay i'm excited okay i'm excited if, if you have a playstation make sure to get the plus it is make worth sure. the play definitely oh worth my god play. it's so much fun it is really good like if you ever want if you ever wanted to be in jaws's shoes here you go <laughs> there you go that is true that is what it is ending is really cool too mm-hmm. minecraft dungeons game i touched for literal hours like two three maybe and never went back to sadly i think it's a good game it's just there was so much around this time period that i was interested in i was actually playing man eater and i was I'd, i had rather i played man eater than this so i, just I tried i tried playing minecraft dungeons and i could not get into it i think it's more of a co-op game because i couldn't it was boring to me yeah i think definitely more of a co-op but it, it wasn't really there for me either um mm-hmm. not as much as the next game mortal kombat 11 aftermath I'm trying to get Alex to play Mortal Kombat 11, and he just refuses. But I get to it go back is to it. so good, very good. The story is incredible, and the original and aftermath just enhances it, makes it more depth, gives you more character experiences, and a lot of what if scenarios play out. It's really, really cool. And then the ending makes me excited for the next Mortal Kombat, which is something I would never have said before. So I think it's very good, and Mortal Kombat just feels perfect. Like I never, I never do something and go. I didn't mean to do that. You know, it's just it feels, mm. it feels fantastic. That's good. <sighs> June, we find ourselves in the month of June. Valorant comes out, mm. and my addiction. Yeah, you got to play it. And my addiction of Valorant began. I played this game for basically that whole month, and loved yeah, my time with got, it. Yeah, you were able to play it. <laughs> and it, it went the way of a lot of online games where if you don't have the team mm. you die it dies if you if you don't yeah. go to a forum or a reddit or anything like that and you don't find a couple people to, to team up with and play it's it just it, you just don't play anymore because it's just it's not it's not fun by yourself it's not fun randomly matchmaking with a bunch of people i don't know people not agreeing with my plays not you know th- stuff like that but it, it went that way but it was fun while it lasted. Fun while it lasted. Alex, Persona 4 Golden was re-released on PC. I just want to give that a quick shout out because, I mean, yeah. I immediately oh, bought it when it to. came out. I immediately bought it when it came out. Fun fact, I spent way too much money on a vinyl release of Persona 5 Royal soundtrack. 
and I am excited. Mm-hmm. I paid for the special Dude. tracking for it and everything, and I cannot wait for it to come. Dude, I was at Walmart, and they they were get, coming out with more and more of these vinyls because they have these uh. You know, it, it, it's it's uh, like a record player, but it's an actual digital one. So the yeah. speakers are kind of get you know, it has its oh, own it's speakers. Nice. Yeah, they're nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I see so many vinyls. They had the Guardian of the Galaxy, uh, the ACDC album. And I'm like, dude, I want one so bad. You sh- but I'm like, you, you should, but it is an expensive hobby. My thing is, though, like, do you, should you get an, a traditional record player or should you get like one of these new record players that have like already built in speakers? I mean, I'm a fan of feature speakers. Well, I'm saying if if is it does it sound the same? Because I've always heard the vinyls always sound better, but is that because of the old speaker style or? or well, I thought it, it was just it because it was of the. Oh, I thought it was just because of the physical media of the disc is why it sounded better. Oh, I I, don't I, know. Uh, I didn't. I always thought that they just sound better, but that, that was just me. Depending on what. Yeah, that's just me assuming. I, I honestly, I don't actually know. But uh, I would I would assume that's the case, but I mean, I assume I don't know. I've always getting one. some nice ass speakers just makes it sound better. But I have no idea. Uh, we have one, and once I get my Persona Five Royal, I'm hooking that thing up and I'm listening to it. I I I am mm. so oh, I'm Alex. I'm so excited. I mm. I got the I got the, like the special edition for limited print ones, and the art looks perfect. Mm. Whoo! Uh, June nineteenth. It, Let's just skip all the way to it. Yep. It came out, Alex. <sighs> Dude, Last of Us Part Two. This game had it's me had me at the feels. Very few games, and I call it the God of War effect. Mm-hmm. Very few games make me stop what I'm doing to continue to mm-hmm. play that game. Very few games demand me to return to it, and very few games even the even said that even even fewer games make me sit down, experience it isolated, completely by myself in the darkness, experiencing what this game wants to tell me. That happened in Last of Us Part Two. I wanted nothing but to play this game for as for as long as possible to experience what Naughty Dog wanted me to learn, to figure out Ellie's story, figure out everything going around her. And I cannot say enough. It is amazing. Alex, what do you think? Look, this game, you you asked me this question and you were surprised. I didn't get spoiled once about this before I played this game. I got spoiled in small tense. I honestly don't remember what... Oh, I do remember. And I yeah. don't want to say because it technically wasn't a spoiler, but I did not know that. Mm-hmm. It was a fake spoiler. Um, no, see, I, see, I didn't know anything about it. Like, I didn't really watch anything. Like, I didn't want to know anything. So I was trying to go in blind. Yeah. Dude, I, this game was just... Mm. It, it, like, I had it to the point to where, like, I'm watching. I look back, and my wife is watching, too. She was like, damn. Anything, just, like, a- anything <laughs> non-spoilery that you can bring up that just keeps in your head... Mm. And, you know because it's been a long time i mean six months is not a small amount of time especially in the life of alex where you have a newborn and things like that is there that what is there one scene or one moment that you can kind of share with us that that it doesn't really spoil much but you can kind of if you've played the game you know exactly what you're talking about i have one but 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 can you think of one i kind of put you on the spot but what do you have do you have mm. one thing let's just say when there's a uh there's there's the guitar in one in this one scene I think we have the same and, scene, yeah. Go ahead. And you're in a certain store. Yep, yep, yeah, yeah. Me too, me too. I I, yeah. I'll, I, was, I don't think it's too much of a spoiler. I'll just say the music store. And yeah. it is... Whew, I, I, it, I wept, and it's not even like... It, it's just... It, it moves it's you. Just, it's incredible. Yeah. It's incredible. Beautiful yeah, voices. Beautiful voice. Hold on. Let me see if I can get it. Let me see if I can do it. I, I, I love this... Are you able to hear it? Mm-hmm. Oh, I wanted to get that riff. Just that, that hearing that twinge on the guitar. Oh God! I so I'm actually learning how to play the Last of Us theme on the guitar. Yes, you are. It's hard to do this drumming because I'm not like good. 
So mm. like I'm trying to learn the strumming thing, but like I was trying to uh, te- show my uh, little brother, mm-hmm. and he was like, "What is that? It sounds so familiar." I'm like, "Just think about it. It's a video game." He was like, "Is that Last of Us?" I was like, "Yeah." yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Oh God. Gives me chills like every time I think about it. Mm-hmm. Oh, I could talk about that all day. Let's move on. We're talking about Ghost of Shishima, July seventeenth. Mm. <sighs> it's been a long time since I can say that I did not share a general sentiment that a lot of people did, and I would say a lot of people enjoyed and, and dare I say loved this game, and I just could not grasp anything that kept me there um unfortunately and i think you shared my same idea here alex that i love Jin and i love the setting and i love the combat and things and i do want to go back to see if i can actually get into this game because i do want to beat it and see it through but something mm-hmm. about it i think just gave me this kind of feels a little repetitive feels a little it's like mafia man the, g- <sighs> the story everything's awesome but it's just like the gameplay just got so repetitive i do uh, and again a lot of people disagree here but I, I i i feel like once you learn the four stances that's kind of the game and there's i don't feel any difference and every combat mm-hmm. kind of feels the same if someone walks up to you a sword i go to my sword stance i kill that guy if someone has a spear i go to spear stance i kill that guy and it's just it something doesn't click and i don't know what it was but a lot of people enjoy this game happy for them of course but for me I don't have too much honestly to share about the game. I didn't like it. I wish mm. I wish I could honestly I wish I could kind of just mainline the story, but that's kind of not what the game is. So I just I decided just to stop playing it. And maybe I'll go back to it on the new PS5. I heard it's 60 frames. So I do kind of want to mm. experience the game on there and, and and to see where I go from it. Yeah. Alex, we're in the month of August and I'm in my head I can't think of an August game, but I'm I'm going to scroll through um. In July, I want to give a shout out oh, to Destroy All Humans. Oh, I haven't uh, played it, but, the... but didn't you beat it? Question mark. Yes, I beat it. Yeah, yes, I beat it. That's good. I did. I beat it on Xbox One, and man, it's it's as yeah. good as when you played it when people who played it back in uh, PS2 days, mm-hmm. GameCube games, is just as good, just as funny, and it just brings back old times. Like it feels great. Like the shooting is awesome. Mm-hmm. It's just one of those like when you play it you're like oh this is like a 90s game but like it doesn't feel like a 90s it, like you like it's an it's a nostalgic thing you're like hell yeah this is awesome next game i so want like, to talk just, about oh sorry so I, 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 yeah, yeah yeah no i heard it's fun and i do want to go back to it i just couldn't keep it i could keep my interest honestly yeah um but the next time i want to talk about it, august 11th hyperscape um I want to say it's one of those games, and if you don't know, this is Ubisoft's attempt at a battle royale. Very mm-hmm. fast-paced, uh, futuristic-style game. And, I, again, another game where I just couldn't keep my interest. I played a little bit. Yeah, it same. seemed like it was trying to do the battle royale thing. I respect what it's trying to do. I gave it a thumbs up and left, promptly. Yeah, yeah not too much to share, honestly. Um, moving on. Oh, go ahead. No, I was going to say, I forgot that this was in August, and I can't, forgot that it came out in VR, and we need to get it. Vader Immortal. I honestly forgot about this game's release. I was going to do the same I've, thing, Alex. I've I was going to bring it up, and, and I have not. I've been waiting for this game ever because it's been on Oculus, and I forgot that they said that they come out on VR, but it was like a silent release because they didn't advertise it. So they just like mentioned that it was out and that was it. So I'm like, I have to go back and go play it because I've been dying to play this game because I've heard it was really good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I respect it. I cannot wait to try this out. I, I, I need to order. I still haven't done it, Alex. You'll, you'll, you're going to berate me. I still haven't gotten the free VR adapter thing that I, I need to put in the serial number for. Did you not really? No, I, I have it. No, I, I need to. Uh, I got mine that. like a month ago. Yeah, I need to do that here. I'm gonna open up PSVR adapter claim thing. Now, do you have now? Do you have your VR in sight? Yes, I do. Yeah, yeah. Okay, because you need the little black box that turn that has the light, the little black box. Right, the, the serial number. Back yeah, there. you write the serial number. I, I remember. Yeah. Um. So I'll be sure to do that uh, before I get off today. Um, let's see. That that's now, it for August. Tr- it looks like. Go ahead. Uh, did you ever try? Tell me why. No, I I didn't. 
I didn't. I, I want I, to. I started, it seemed definitely I average. Episode, but I never... I started the first episode, and it was interesting. I just never got back around it because I was just trying to play some games, and I could not get back into it because it was, it was just something else that I was playing at the time. This speaks like, of 100%. Backlog. This it speaks to my ignorance of the game, of course. Um, mm -hmm. But I saw... And I don't mean this to come off in any rude or predatory way or anything like that. I just saw no or no reason to play the video game. Like, what is the allure of the game? All I saw leading up were just scenes of them talking about honestly nothing. So, like, I don't even know what the point of the game is. So, I just, it just so... wasn't gave me a reason enough to go play it. So, I literally have zero idea of what you're doing in the game. So, all I know from the first uh, episode that I was playing, like the first, like, I think it was like two hours that I played, um, you witness something that happens. Uh, um, you witness something that happens between this these two siblings. And one of these siblings is transgender. Um, but this was, well, one of the siblings, is, like, is, it's something happens that this one sibling does something and he gets and he goes away for a while okay and so now now the other sibling found they finally reunite and now i guess you're experiencing their story together and i think it take i think the point of this game is i think it's it says tell me why maybe it's because i don't know i've i never really i've only gotten two hours into it so i don't really know what it's about either but that's so far what i've gotten out of it for from the hmm. two hours is that okay you get there's two siblings the one sibling something happens the and then and then years later they wind up getting together again and they start explaining more stuff but you see that one of the siblings is of the other sex so you're like oh well, when did when did this happen and all that stuff okay okay so uh, yeah so it's it, it's it goes it goes to that that for that type of community and I mean I've heard that it's actually a really good game so I wanted to keep trying it but I just haven't gone back to it. Okay, okay. Then again, that definitely more, makes me more interested than I was before. Um, so I do want to give it a try. It's one of those games where I like put it in like the back of my head where like I need to try that and it, there's just so much to do. So I definitely mm, want yeah, to try it. It's for the people who did Life is Strange. Tony Hawk's Birthcater went into a game that we didn't play nearly uh, close to release, but Alex, you just got it, and I'm actually playing it right now. I just got it. What, what, yes, you, I am. what are your thoughts on this? Dude, it's running so so well. Okay. You are playing it's it on next so gen, well. so it's I'm assuming so it feels great, right? Yes, I'm on the Series X. It's it's running great. Um, it's It's like playing them all over again, but like, like you know, you think... Like imagine yourself ten years old when you're playing, you know, um, the, whatever console you had at the time, and you think the graphics are so amazing and the game's so much fun. Imagine you you feeling that way again. That's cool. Yeah. So like I'm ex I'm enjoying Pro Skater One and Two. Like I'm like you know it's not like a f there's a free room part and then there's a part where, like there's then there's you know you go level by level and you gotta co collect everything in a certain amount of time. So it's like not stressful but you're like oh god it's time crunching so you're like you're trying to do everything and it's just fun mm -hmm. but so far mm -hmm. i'm enjoying it okay okay uh, it makes it makes me think about going to it as well because uh, i do want mm -hmm. that feeling of a of a pr uh, proper skater game um and i haven't felt mm -hmm. that since skate 3 so i do want to play it yeah again. No, i'm i'm waiting for skate man you yeah, same here same here uh honestly this game brings about a lot of emotions mostly of of disappointment and honestly to be frank a little bit of sadness too uh marvel's mm. avengers september 4th mm. uh, um i i mean i think i summed it up disappointing made me a little sad honestly because there is so much potential in the name marvel's avengers for a video game and to get what we got, it, frankly, disappointing. And I did like uh, Kamala Khan. She was finally given the limelight that she deserves. She's a fantastic character. And we've seen Captain mm -hmm. America, Hulk, Iron Man. Their stories told so many times. We finally got it in a fresh perspective from this girl that is like a fan that turns into a superhero. And then she wants to uh, fight this um, agency. And they have to band together and help her and stuff. And 
they still don't agree with each other so that's ripe for a good story but then this it's around this we want to be destiny but we don't but there's Mm these vendors that are exactly like destiny and then we want to have equipment but you don't change anything when you equip stuff so you don't feel like you're getting anything and then there's these levels that Dude, you think feel different but in the reality you're gonna have the same thing when you hit max level anyways it's just eh, you know like it's now, one of those like now, what now how disappointing is it to you compared to anthem uh i mean anthem was way more disappointing i mean it didn't work <laughs> for the longest time avengers didn't work either but like anthem was even worse um, that's true I mean, Anthem is just, it's, 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 I've forgotten about Anthem, so it, it's, it's done the worst job it can be, and it was just forgettable. <laughs> Avengers, unfortunately, I think will also fall in that camp eventually. We'll eventually just forget yeah. it was a game, and they'll slowly disappear, which is sad. I hope they get a second wind and fix the game and make it whatever they want it to be. Um, I know you didn't play much of it, Alex, but do you have anything to share about it? Um, I, I'm, what am I? I'm trying to think of how far I am, because I, I, I didn't you, get to beat it yet. No, you, you, you're. I'm further than you. You don't even have all the Avengers. I believe the no, last one you got I'm missing was one more of it. Widow. I'm missing, yeah, I'm missing, uh, I'm missing. Thor. You're missing Thor, and Thor is technically like the next mission you go on. So it's one of those things where like is cool. I, like I have all the Avengers, but it's like. What what is even? Why do I care? What's happening? It's... Like I I, down, I redownloaded it on on PS Five just so I can like finish the story. But like I'm just it's take, it's taking me like a while to even think about going back. Same here, same here, dude. Moving down, That's Super Mario Three D All Stars September eighteenth. Mm-hmm. I was about to say something that I that I care about. Alex, you played Sunshine, right? Yeah. Did you enjoy it? Is it everything yeah. you thought it'd be? Yeah. I mean, it just feels... Honestly, okay. People are getting are mad because they feel like it feels the exact same way. And they feel like it was like, oh, they didn't fix this. They didn't fix that. I mean, you got the game how it is when you first played it. So, I mean, at least you got... I mean, be lucky you got the game at all. Mm-hmm. I get what you're saying. Um, There were a lot of people that are like, why is, like, not modernize and i want to say i wish it was modernized too Mm -hmm. uh because i don't think i can play i mean i'm being honest i don't think i can play it the way it is just because it feels so strange yeah um it's i'm just used to it correct yeah you're used to to it yeah no and i I do want to eventually try it this uh this came out in september and then this is when the game started coming out so um Mm -hmm. and i was getting back in the destiny so i didn't have much time uh so i i definitely get where you're coming from with the mm. you know it's as good as it is when it came out and i respect i mean i respect it. it's still a good game i've heard anyways uh and i want to mm. go to i really want to play galaxy that's the one i want to play uh, yeah I, so do i because i've never played galaxy and i've heard it's fun yeah i want to play galaxy so that's the one i want to go to do uh you know I'll, I'll try sunshine eventually but i really want to do galaxy um when i have the time mm-hmm. we find ourselves with alex in october crash 4 bandicoot uh crash 4 comes out neither you or nor i really played it i don't know if you want to share mm-hmm. anything but i didn't really no, play. i played the first level and then i was like eh. yeah i get that it's, it's crash yeah for sure Ugh, star wars, star, star wars Squ- squadrons uh what he said about crash 4 is what i did with star wars squadrons i played one level went eh put it back down <laughs> so yep. i don't have much to share about it um a very special game in this very uh a very small game but a lot of fun Eichenfell. I don't know if anyone uh, has heard about this game, but it's very cool. It's this girl that hasn't heard from her sister in a long time. She knows that she had these powers and she went to this magic school and on the way to try and find her, she finds out she also has the power. And and mm-hmm. it's this really cool kind of... Not strategy, but like it's... Um, turn by turn rpg that you can also move in this space it's very cool and i enjoyed myself quite a bit i liked it uh, and it's on mm-hmm. game pass if you have game pass please give it a try it's really fun it's on ps4 as well on pc it's on everything so give it a try if you can it's a great game great small game um i've only played about half of it but i do want to get back to it it's really fun 
Yeah, it's on Switch as well. So, I mean, a- a- anything you got, play it. Yeah, right. Um, let's see here. Lots of games. Jesus came out. Um, uh, Doom Eternal's uh, DLC came out. I need to play that. I have not played it yet. I need to reboot. I haven't played any of these games. Oh, the so Mario we're... Kart Live Circuit came out. I forgot about that thing. I, I don't. I didn't play it, so I can't. No. Uh, Watch Sharks of Legion. There we go. October 29th. Ugh. Disappointment. To be honest with you. There's a Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 4? I thought 3 yeah. just came out. No, no. 3 is old. It's old. It was on the Vita. No. No, it was not. 3? Was it? 3 just... Uh, well, they brought, they brought it to the Vita, but they it definitely came out like last year. Thir- wasn't three like or am i thinking of two you're thinking of two because cold steel okay i'm sorry there what there's no way yeah there they you go they came out three years ago i mean i'm believing them over you alex you know what i mean what is this why is there a launch trailer weird okay whatever launch trailers just come out when the, when like the game launches yeah, no, but it says that the the video, vid, the tra- uh, the the PlayStation posted this video last year, and in January of this year. Let's see. So the first one came out in twenty thirteen in Japan and North America in twenty fifteen. Um, I mean, you could be looking at this Japanese release too. Hmm. Right. I don't know. Let me see. U.S. No, it's just 2017. It says, yeah, 2017 for the original release. So most likely for Japan, for 2019 um, is for the English release. So, yeah, so it came out for us last year, but that was just a localization. Oh, that's why. Okay, yeah, because, yeah, 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 this is a very Japanese one came out 2018 Yeah, this Japan. Yeah, this is a very Japanese game. So, I mean, it, gotcha. yeah, and it doesn't look like they're in too much of a rush to bring it to the America. So it, they take their time, it looks like. Uh, yeah it most likely doesn't sell a whole bunch here so that's why i was confused because i remember seeing it and I, and I was like whoa i was like i didn't even notice that correct yeah um i love how fast we got sidetracked that's that sums up watchdogs legions by the way uh we immediately um, got sidetracked to talk about something else i think that perfectly cements what legions is you forgot you forget about it look it i look it i'm just gonna it's just it's just one word disappointing yeah 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 I rather 100%. go black. I rather go back and play two for the third time. <laughs> yes, I loved two. Um, and I would also rather do that. It is it is one of those games where it's like you forget about it as fast as you turned it on. Mm-hmm. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, November tenth. It took me mm-hmm. a month and a half to beat it, but I did it. I beat it. Hey, it's, hey you're not the only one, man. I just beat it. Well, like what two weeks ago? Mm-hmm. But, so, I been, but, I, but I was playing him almost the whole time. Oh, yeah, you were playing it a lot. And we also get Destiny 2 Beyond Light the same day, which, needless to say, I've been playing nothing but this game, having a great time. Literally nothing. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Go watch Lost. Uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla is so I good. Did. Again, you watch it again. Uh, yeah, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Valhalla is super good. Super good. Spoiler cast for more, but had a great time. Look, I rewatched Dexter and Lost, okay? Good job. Good job. Is that what you wanted? Yes. <laughs> and of course, we can talk about it, Alex. I mean, we got new systems November 10th. Xbox Series yes. S X came out. I, I mean, what a great mm. time, right? Like, we got new systems. We got this new experience. Everything. I mean, everything I mean, so kind of came. So far, dude? No, I had no. Uh... I have like no complaints for same, the systems. Same here. Uh, I I want to say like came as advertised. My system has quick resume, works mm-hmm. most of the time. I think I've had one or two issues, um, and it feels great. Everything runs great. Everything loads fast. Everything looks better. Like came as advertised. I I gave them five hundred dollars and they gave me five hundred dollars back in a system, and I am one hundred percent satisfied. Mm-hmm. Jesus, everything's the November tenth because I guess everybody. Well, everyone wanted. Used. Yeah, be that be that new system launch, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of re-releases too. So I mean, yeah, that's I'm, that's why I'm going through each one. Okay, so now we go to November twelfth for a PS which is a PS five. And you know what, Alex? And one of the best games of the year. 
Marvel Spider Man Miles Morales. Oh, I was thinking Astros Playboy. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I I echo that too. I mean, those are. I mean, oh, no, again, two, I'm for sure. <laughs> a little bit of a spoiler. Those are two games on my top ten for sure. Dude, Love those games. For sure. Love yeah. those games. Had a great platinum time with both. Them. Uh, I have yet to platinum Spider Man. Still, <sighs> I platinum Astros. But have not platinum Spider Man. Go platinum Spider Man. I'm like right there all right relax okay then why don't you just go ahead and do it because destiny has this thing i gotta go <laughs> moving on from that ps5 of course releases november 12th mm-hmm. my god i i mean if i can say the same thing i mean if war- i can have such, if i if, you know if you thought the xbox one original was as big oh jesus yeah no, this thing is a mammoth. I'm looking at it right now in my entertainment center, and it's, I mean, it's in there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Look, look it, it's funny because I set it up, and my wife come home from work. And I was like, oh, hey, did you see the PlayStation? She walks in, and she was like, oh, why is it so big? It's yeah. so big. It is, it is yeah, it humongous. Like it, it looks strange, and I respect them for the design choice because they're being bold. They didn't want to just go with a plain box, but, like, why does it have to look like the Tower of Mordor? Like, you know what I mean? Well, like, what's going on? I think on they made thing? the panels too because remember they said there's just gonna be customizable, uh, customizable panel, uh, panels. I don't care. Or the system's gonna be customizable. You're not gonna change yours out? Uh, no, I'm gonna change it. But like, did I? Do I need that? Eh. I don't. I don't, I don't really, know. I don't, I don't really care. Yeah, it kind of gets me excited. I get it. I I get what you're saying. It's one of those things. I'm like, do I do I really it's, care? Eh, not really. It gets me excited that I don't have to buy a special version of the system. Oh, you're still gonna do it? No, probably. <laughs> uh, of course, we got Demon Souls. I've yet to play, but I want to. Oh my god! We already so talked. To, we already talked about Miles Morales. Holds a special place. We did a spoiler cast. If you want to go listen to it we loved it of course i will not stop talking about this game if you are getting a playstation 5 or ps4 and you have one buy first purchase spider-man 1 spider-man 2 god of war there boom three three fantastic games enjoy mm-hmm. uh Sackboy, a big adventure i have but i haven't played yet still need to play that um we got call of duty black ops cold war which fantastic game I, I mm-hmm. quickly played the campaign, didn't touch multiplayer, and I'm gone and probably never going to touch it again. But it was fun when I had it. I'm, I'm still playing multiplayer. It's fun. Yeah. Game Hearts Melody and Memory have yet to play it, but I have it. Ugh. <laughs> Alex did not enjoy it. I, yeah, I could not get into it, man. I get it. Um, And Alex, we hit December. Mm. I mean, that's, that's it. Oh, we're yeah. done. Oh, you... Oh, yeah, I was about to say you haven't you haven't tried Hyrule, have you? Nope, nope. I I still need to buy it. I I haven't even bought it. Yeah, I, was about to say. I still need to buy that game. game. I mean, we got Cyberpunk. If you want to talk about Cyberpunk, of course, December tenth. Mm-hmm. Do you, I mean anything Cyberpunk you want to share with people? It, yeah, sure. Why not? I mean, it's still newish. We're still in the same month. Yeah. I mean, Cyberpunk, awesome story, but there is a lot of glitches in this game so far. It was definitely not ready to release. I'm sure everyone has heard about it. Everyone has heard the mm-hmm. they're getting sued by their benefit by, by the people. It's, it's, and... it's hilarious enough to where I want to post on Twitter and I put hashtag and I started writing cyberpunk and there's already its own hashtag where it says cyberpunk uh, bugs or something like if, that. If you, like if, it has its own hashtag. If you like... want a good, a good time at Cravey Subscater, go through his recent tweets and find the um couple of the bugs that he tweeted about. It's pretty pretty <laughs> funny. They're pretty good. He's pretty good. My personal favorite was um oh no, I just forgot it. Oh, uh, what was it? Um your window one was really funny where he hits a window and he gets teleported a hundred miles back. That was hilarious. <laughs> and yeah my and the, i had uh, my one of my favorites is like where i call my vehicle and it thinks i called both of them so my my car is there i'm like okay it's my car and then my car just media explodes into the air and then my bike is there i'm like <laughs> all right i didn't want to make up its mind of which one it want to give me <laughs> that's amazing there's a lot of that by the way i i so the, at the very beginning of the game for me i had cops come to me and it's very mm-hmm. clear that they're supposed to drive in, turn dramatically, and, and stop you. Instead, mm-hmm. I start there. I look over the the car. I hear sirens, 
and then boom, a, a cop car just appears in front of me with with no drive. Like it just it, it starts in front of me. It was hilarious. It just comes out of nowhere. So funny. And um, another one was I go to my car. There's a gentleman standing next to it that I don't know is a random NPC, and he's just t posing, staring at me. It's so funny. It's so funny. There's there's a couple of things where it's like, wow, this game was not ready, but they released it anyways. Look, man, I'm giving props to the one uh, Greg Miller. He's right now working on the platinum for this game. Oh like, yeah, that's I don't right. Know if I can. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can do that. Yeah, he for this he game, tweeted a cheese that he found for something. I don't know what it was, but he t- he tweeted something yeah, it's, else. It's it's the ten out of ten uh, trophy. What is what is that? But, ten um, headshots or something? What is it? Do you know? I, if you don't know, it's fine. No, I don't know. Okay, I was no, just curious. I'll probably look to so I can just do it on my Xbox, but like, oof, I I don't know if I can plan on this game, dude. It's hard to go back. Mhm, mhm. I I get it, and I mean that speaks to the quality, quote unquote. Like, and it's bad you don't want to go back. I want to, but then I don't want to. No, I get it. Like you've played it, and you're like, ooh, <laughs> like you gotta mm-hmm. like leave it for a while. You're like that that was enough. <laughs> mhm. That was enough. I get, dude. I get it. Trust me. I I understand what you mean by that. Alex, mm. I don't want to do what we just did with the releases, um, but like, what are some games that you know are going to come out? But you know, they they don't have to have next year's date. But I, I kind of want to take a second. What's in the future that you're looking for? We we talked about the games that we've experienced and enjoyed, and took a second to play. What are a couple games from your head that you're like, yeah, I got, you know that that might be one of my most anticipated games, or that's just something I'm we're looking forward to. Do you have one in your head, man? I'm waiting for that Ragnarok. Yeah, you'll be waiting for a while, Alex. Oh, I know. But um, for the next year, I mean, Halo Infinite, for sure. Halo Infinite, I do Ever believe it's coming out. Dude, the re- when they showed those fuck- those screenshots, that 4K screenshots, man, they look yes. so much better. Whoo, dude, they look cool. Mm-hmm. So much better. It comes out next fall. I'm just, dude, I'm just waiting um to see all the things, like... Elden Ring, you know, I'm just waiting to see all the stuff that they've come up with. Like, I'm even wanted to see what's that one game, that weird creepy game, Scorn. Scorn? I want to even check that out. And I'm whatever. It looks like uh, it looks like it's just trying to be gross. Which I, you know, I'll try it, but I don't think I, I don't care. Yeah, like I'm just like there's so many games like Medium way, looks like, cool. Do you remember that game? Yes, yes, the Medium. Yes. Yeah, Medium looks cool. I want to try that game out. Uh, what was that one that uh, I was talking about it the other day? It was like there was a demo for it, but it's like the full version is like next year. Um, uh, the shooting game, Ghost the Runner? shooting game. No, 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 no. Uh, Bright Memory. Bright, Bright Memory, Memory Infinite. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that one looks awesome, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you enjoyed it, right? It's like thirty minutes or whatever. Well, I haven't played it. It just looks awesome. Oh, oh, you haven't played it? Yeah, you should play. It. I mean, I think it's like literally thirty Whoa. minutes. Well, you have to pay seven bucks for the first chapter. Oh, that I mean, I'm sorry, I forgot. Yeah, you definitely don't have seven dollars. Sorry, my bad. Let's move on. I'm not saying that I don't. <laughs> I'm just saying like, if I'm gonna spend seven dollars, should I just wait because it's there? I know I'm messing with you. I I, I heard it's it, like if you do end up paying the seven bucks, it's straight up thirty minutes. So like, just so you know what you're buying, it, like mm-hmm. you know, there you go. <laughs> um. There is, uh, so one game I want to say specifically that is my most anticipated game of next year. Uh, I hope it mm-hmm. makes it. I am not holding my breath, though. Um, Alex, you, you, you could probably guess it if, if I gave you a second, but I'm just going to tell you. Gotham Knights my, is my mm-hmm. number one. That's mm-hmm. my number one. I, can, I cannot wait for this game. Legitimately am so excited to be able to pick which Bat family I want to be. And go fight crime with you, and and like have these missions that we go on, fight freeze or kill a croc or whatever, whatever it is. I cannot wait for it. Mm-hmm. And fight the court of owls and stuff, which I'm by the way almost done with that comic. I'm reading it right now, and I'm about to finish it, and I cannot wait to see how it ends, so I kind of can see where where the next one's going. Yeah, no, I, it's definitely exciting stuff because I want to see how well it's gonna run, I like the whole multiplayer thing too yeah me too and um suicide squad is of course another one but that's not coming out next year um oh. got a war but like uh, that's not coming out next year uh horizon is my is my next one those are my two most anticipated gotham knights and horizon i think i think horizons 
close to done, so I do think that's coming out next year. But Gotham Knights. Now, do you think because we just got Miles Morales, do you think we'll get Spider Man next year or the year after? Because year the after. original Spider Man was twenty eighteen. Year after. Year after. Yeah, they have it in their heads scheduled. God of War, Horizon, God of War, mm-hmm. and um, Spider Man. So I don't think they want to release Spider Man before God of War. They want God of War to hit, and then they'll have Spider Man c- cooking until that's done. Mm, so you think we'll get God of War, you think we'll get God of War before Spider Man? Um. Yes, but War. yes, but God of War is not going to be God of War. What you're thinking of? God of War is going to be Spider Man. It's going to be God of War Miles Morales. You know what I mean? Like it's going to be this shortened, not you, as long. Experience. Do you think that's Do you think that's what Ragnarok is going to be? A hundred percent. Yeah. Mm, I oh yeah it is not another god of war i promise you alex it is not it i will eat i would love to be wrong i don't think it is i think mm. this is dlc that they thought of making for the original game that they scrapped put into one game they're now going to release and it is going to be roughly half to two-thirds as long as the original god of war was Mm. I'm perfectly fine with that, but that is, I think, 100% what's going to happen. Especially with their quick turnaround. Yeah, I mean, that's true, because they said that it is coming out in 2021. Yeah, that's pretty quick. But, uh, yeah, love to be wrong, I want it to be a 100-hour experience where I'm Kratos and I scream at Atreus the whole time. So, I'm ready. I hope I'm wrong, but I just don't. I can't see it. I can't see it. Um, I'm, I'm, I mean... Uh, uh, what? What? I was gonna say. I mean, God of War did release in twenty, yeah, released in twenty eighteen in April. So next year, twenty twenty one, that would be considered almost three years on the dot. Yeah, but like that's not how production works. You know what I mean? Like they didn't release that game and immediately go, all right, all of the team now begins God of War, like that. You know, so like it hasn't been three years. Really, it's probably been because there's holidays and things like that probably closer to two years or maybe two and a half years of actual production Mm. time because they 100 percent got greenlit for god of war 2 while god of war was being produced which is i'm sure they were already working on it even while this one was still being worked on right but pre-pro concept art i mean work on in small Mm. tents i don't think it was nowhere near in production they probably had a small idea of what ps5 specs were but didn't exactly know what it is and you know stuff like that so I, I, I want to be wrong, but I don't think I am. I don't yeah. think I am. I think, I think I've nailed this. I think we're getting God of War Ragnarok, and it's going to be roughly the size of what Miles is to Spider-Man, which mm. I'd rather take that than nothing. Alex. Yeah? This has been our 2020 in review, kind of. You know, we took a second. We went over what, what we thought about the year, and we went over what we think we're excited for for the next year. Hopefully it all pans out and we don't get another Marvel's Avengers and Gotham Knights. So hopefully all that pans out. Cannot wait for it. Alex, thank you for joining me. No problem. Thank you for talking games with me. You know, I'm really hot and I have to pee, so I want to get out of here. But, dude... You have no idea. I had this fan off in this room, and I'm like, all right, I just want the fan to be on. Yeah, same here. I'm, I'm hot, and I have so much urine that I have to go release. So I will leave <laughs> the Achievers with this. We want to thank you for staying here for an hour and a half, listening to us talk about an entire year of gaming news and video games that we like. I want to thank you for joining us, and I want to thank you for making our year a great year with Easy Achievers in the year of 2020. It's been great. We had a fun time. We hope you had a happy holidays and enjoyed your time, whatever you're doing. Enjoy your friends. Enjoy your family. Take a second and remember that next year we are going to be back bigger, better than ever. And we're going to make 2021 our B word. That means bitch. We love you. And remember, make Mm. 2021 and go achieve. Go achieve.